Ted Cruz's claim raises a significant issue regarding the current administration's accountability. He points out the contradiction of Kamala Harris being part of the administration he criticizes while presenting herself as an agent of change, which Cruz sees as political hypocrisy. Cruz argues that Harris positions herself as a leader while trying to distance herself from the shortcomings of the Biden administration, particularly on issues like border security, energy, and the economy. His critique focuses on Harris's perceived incompetence as the so-called border czar, accusing her of allowing millions of illegal immigrants to cross into the country. This reflects the conservative emphasis on law enforcement and national security, as well as the desire for leaders who take strong action to protect the borders. What Kamala Harris is trying to do here is really bizarre which is she's trying to run as the change candidate. She's trying to treat Donald J. Trump like he is the incumbent president. And, and that's utterly disconnected from reality. She is the current administration. And, and normally the way VPs run is they say, hey, we did a great job. The president did a great job. Let's continue the successes of the administration I was the VP in. Well, the problem is Biden and Harris, their policy record is a complete train wreck. And so you look at her convention speech, you look at that interview, the entire time she's saying, well, well, I would do this to secure the border. It's like, well, if you would do that, why don't you do that? You're in charge right now today. And so everything she's saying she would do, the way I would put it is actions speak louder than words. We know what she'll do on the border because she's been border czar for four years and we've had 11 and a half million people invade this country because she refuses to enforce the law. We know what she'll do on energy because she, she and Joe Biden have been in charge for four years and they've waged a war on energy that has driven the cost of gasoline and everything else through the roof. And, and so I hope tomorrow night in the debate that, that, that Trump really prosecutes her record versus his record, because on almost every measure, the lives of the American people were much better when Trump was president. We had a Republican Senate and a Republican House than they are now under the Biden-Harris record. Cruz's remarks also highlight rising energy costs and criticize what he sees as the administration's ineffective energy policies, which resonate with public concerns over the economy. These criticisms intensified during the debate when Cruz urged Donald Trump to prosecute her record, framing it as a failure in comparison to the Trump administration's perceived successes, lower energy costs, stronger border security, and economic growth. This contrast, Cruz suggests, fuels a narrative among some that the Biden-Harris administration has fallen short where Trump succeeded. Underlying Cruz's critique is a broader tension between leadership's authenticity, responsibility, and public perception. His attack on Harris underscores a desire for leaders who take full responsibility for their actions and deliver tangible results in solving national issues. The gap between Harris's rhetoric and her perceived inaction, according to Cruz, deepens public frustration, eroding trust in her leadership. If Harris's words and actions continue to diverge, Cruz warns that this could lead to greater disillusionment with leadership, as the failure to address key issues raises questions about integrity and the country's direction.